I am back. Ooh, I tell you, man, I am back. And so is Shaman King is back. The reason why I was gone is because work has been exhausting for these past four days, and I just needed some sleep. Like, by the time I woke up, it was almost time to eat dinner and head out back to work. <laughs> That's what happens when you work them nine-hour jobs. Well, anyways, I'm going to try to upload more, but I'm not here. You're not here to talk, listen to my rambling about my life. You're here to listen to my thoughts on Shaman King and other things. So without further ado, let's get into the review of Shaman King, episode 38. This episode first start off with people's development from the Golem arc. How so many people have changed, especially Chuckle Love. Ren, Weiser, even the boy who wanted revenge, and Yo himself, you know, Yo wanted to quit the shaman, want Yo quit the shaman fight for the sake of Ren. We saw the backstory, and then we saw Chuckle Love resolving himself, dying, coming back to life. We had some stuff with Ryu, had like even horror horror, and Yo himself really like how weak he is after being defeated by the goal. That there's so many strong fighters here. But he himself is not strong, even if he is Lord Howe's ten brother. He is stronger, but he's not there just yet. And the fact there's only 39 fighters left, and pretty much that means all the fighters left are pretty much near god class level of power. So the remaining few will probably run away, but even then, you still have Lord Howe's minions hunting them down for their souls to feed the spirit of fire. You know, that, that being said, um, we see Yo having to go back in a tournament because Tao says, I don't care what promise you made to the X-Laws, all I care about is what I want, so you need to go back into a tournament. <laughs> okay, there, which of course, Yo himself didn't want to go back, but not just for the sake of the cause or some, you know, obligation, mainly for himself and what he promised. The real reason why he wanted to become the Shaman King was to help Anna, and that was the true reason in the first place. So, now he's coming back with a different resolve. Seeing himself as weak, since he sees himself as weak, he'd be able to, you know, accept his situation. As you can tell, Yo is an stoic person. Someone's a stoic, a lot of people say are they're hard to read because they don't think like most people. Where everyone panics, they think complicated thoughts. They reject some things that are happening in their situation. The stoic people just accept. You know, like, here comes this problem. I accept this problem. I'll see what I can do with it. And that is it. Other people, you know, they complicate things. The majority of us complicate things. So because of that, we see someone like Yo and other people who can accept things. We can't read them because they don't do things like we usually do. Makes sense. Now, the second part of this episode is when he's going off to fight the X-Laws because he's the one who told them that he would drop out. So, of course, he has come back to them like, yeah, I'm entering back in. But this time, there's no time to talk, but it's time to fight. No fights to the death, though, because that's just not his way. Now, people finding out that Lucius is a uh, founder of the X-Laws, like, I remember back in high school when I was... When Shaman King was in the Jump Comics, and the Jump Comics used to come here to America, even at our school libraries, we would get a Jump Comic every single month, and we would all read it and pass it around. And we were trying, when we first saw Lucius, and so like, this guy looks like he has a gun, he's worth Lord Howe, we bet he has something to do with the Exiles, which we were right. We were just, you know, spectating, doing stuff out. And but we didn't really have an idea what part he has in it. He was probably one of the founders, but no, he was the founder of the X Laws. Like okay, so we were pretty much almost on the dot. Like just a couple, you know, little little tiny little inches away from it. And we were right. he was part of the X Laws. He founded it. He raised Marco, took the car shows, universities, and even built the X-Laws around him for a specific reason. And I don't think it's just for defeating Lord Howe. It probably goes further than that. But either way, if you want to know more about the X-Laws, there's actually one of the many, and I do mean many, comic um, Shaman King spinoffs that is called Shaman King Marco, where 
it's about Marco, but he's not the main character. It's about them looking for Marco after years later after the shaman fight that happened. And the two main characters are actually have not yet the show yet, but they're pretty interesting. They have much time to really show funny. And like I said, I'm always saying this, but it's funny how you can have characters with such minimum roles within the story and the author will just make an entire series for them. Like, your main characters now. <laughs> like, I think that's pretty cool. The fact that they can expand and diverse their characters like that. Even characters that only show up with only a couple of chapters to have an entire series just for them. I think that's pretty cool. So anyway, they're about to fight to the death. One to prove something and one to close everything down. Both try and move away from their past, but in different ways. But yet at the same time, the same way of trying to kill each other. <laughs> so anyways, it's glad to see Shaman King back. And glad to be back. I'll try to upload more often if I'm not feeling tired. Because he's out here killing me. <laughs> so anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, and of course, leave a... Uh, damn, it's a bell icon. <laughs> Anyways, this has been Minecraft on Manime. Signing out.